Joining me here right now in studio is uh, Joel Klatt, Fox Sports college football analyst, also spent three years at quarterback with Gary Barnett in Colorado. Good to see you here, sir. It's How great are you, to see you. I appreciate you having me. No, nice thanks. setup you have here. My goodness. I appreciate you saying that. Thank you. It's, uh, it's, it's beautiful. It's plush, and I'm, I'm, I'm a lucky man, and I'm thrilled to have you here. Um, Mike Mayock uh, of the NFL Media Group, um, with whom I'll be spending an absurd amount of time <laughs> starting next week uh, in the booth in, uh, in Lucas Oil, um, calling the action, for the lack of a better phrase, uh, on the NFL Network. He has Jameis Winston 1, Marcus Mariota 2. Right. You have those flipped on your top yeah. players at the quarterback position. Why do you, why do you have that? Well, I, there was a couple of things that I, I really love about Mariota. And one is, is most people are going to get fixated on the offensive system that he ran. Mm -hmm. But to me, you know, being a former quarterback, the system is just the car that you're given to drive. And you can drive to the best of your ability. And so you have to evaluate the driver and not the car. Mm -hmm. in this in this sequence and to me when I when I watch Mariota he's got a much better arm than people give him credit for uh, and it's true that the system lends itself towards throws that are, are wide open like you see here but when he's called upon he can fit the ball into tight windows and he's very accurate down the field and then th the other part about it is He's about 6'4", Kaepernick-esque size. Yeah. He can probably carry about 230 once he gains 10 or 12 more pounds. And he's legitimately a world-class athlete on the outside. And I think that's the direction that the NFL is going. And he might be the first player that we're seeing come into the league that can both control the game from the pocket, especially on third down, and get outside and just absolutely annihilate a team with his legs. But in terms of what you, you just said about the car and the driver, I mean, Mike Mayock, I, I mentioned that he, he said it was a project for Mariota and any team but Philadelphia. And he's he has since corrected me to make sure that I get this right. It's a projection mm. for every team, be, yeah. and which is a difference between the, a project a means that is a big, huge right. difference. But that's what it is. That for other teams, maybe running, not running this Oregon offense, right. you have to make a projection as to how he's going to drive your car. Whereas Winston that's more difficult. is a different story. Winston is a different story. He he's a guy that his competitive nature and crunch time off the charts. Mm -hmm. Right. I mean, we all watched all of those games where he would bring the Seminoles back time after time. There are some concerns for me in the fact that he put his team in a lot of those situations with interceptions. And in this day and age, turning the ball over and ball security is of the utmost of importance. He had 18 interceptions, only one other player in college football threw more. Uh, that's a concern. 13 of them were in the first half. That's why he had to come back in the second half. And then, it, it, whether you like it or not, all the stuff off the field you have is going to talk be about a that, Joe. Joe, you it, have to talk you about You have that. to talk about it because in this day and age, it's too big of an investment. And he's shown, you know, a, a propensity for a lack of judgment. And I think that teams are going to have to not only dig into that, but ultimately make a projection like Mariota. No and then question. this one will be off the field. Is he going to continue to do that? Joel Klatt of Fox Sports joining me here right now. You also have Amari Cooper, your top yeah. wide receiver. Why do you have him as your top wide receiver? He's probably not the guy with the highest ceiling at the wide receiver group, but he's the most ready as we speak. He's he's lights out when it comes to run routes. He's the cleanest route runner. He's got great hands. He comes from that pro style system, so it's not a projection for him. You can plug and play. Uh, he's smart. Uh, and then he can also create big plays, and that's what people are, are looking for, especially from a wide receiver that's a little bigger than the norm. So who does have the biggest ceiling at the wide receiver position? I would say Kevin White or Devontae Parker. Uh, mm -hmm. The Louisville uh, Devontae Parker or Kevin White from West Virginia. The, Kevin White interests me, uh, Rich, because he, he was really only great for one year, a junior college kid. West Virginia had some problems at the quarterback position two years ago, and then this year he bursts on the scene with Clint Trickett as his quarterback. He's the type of guy with his size and his ability after the catch that I think he could have the biggest impact two or three years from now, but probably not in year one. What about the most impactful defensive player in your mind, Joel? It's got to be Leonard Williams. I mean, Leonard Williams is, is a heck of a player, and I talked with Coach Sarkeesian about him quite, quite often. It's rare that you get a guy that can play all four positions on the defensive line, or all three, depending on an odd versus an even uh, front. Yeah. He can, and he, he not only plays them, but he can be disruptive at every spot. He can get to the quarterback as a defensive end. He can get to the quarterback as a three technique or a defensive tackle. And, and it's that type of disruption that people see in J.J. Watt, and I'm not comparing him to Watt, but 
he's the type of guy that can disrupt the game from anywhere, and, and that type of hybrid nature is going to get him selected in the top two picks. Well, that is, the, that is the name that's being thrown out there because of how J.J. Watt can just blow anything up right. from wherever he darn cares to place he's himself amazing. on a defensive football field. So which, which who, who's the guy that you think we're going to be talking about the most come Monday night of Combine Week? Who do you think we're going to come out and say, wow, that was a heck of a week? for this person maybe philip dorsett a wide receiver from miami he not only might and i know people will cringe at this he Go might chris not, johnson on me You're gonna, he, he, he might johnson? i don't know if he he will break chris johnson but i think he's going to win one of those porsches if he's got the adidas shoes on right. we'll see if he wears the adidas yeah. shoes i think he's going to be the fastest guy and if he shows any consistency with his hands whatsoever you might be surprised he might work himself into that high second round yeah. type of caliber of a wide receiver. He's pretty explosive. Yeah, I mean, that's what I think Daniel Jeremiah, he said that he's the one, he mentioned him as a guy that could go for Chris Johnson's 4.24. 4. That's, that's a different universe. It is a different universe. I can't even fathom that. But those, those are exciting moments, though. They are. Yeah, when Chris Johnson takes to Twitter, like, uh-oh, let's see what's going down, <laughs> you know. But uh, I look forward to seeing you out there. You'll yeah, be out there as part of the wait. Fox Sports coverage, yes? I will. We'll be on the uh, concourse with the uh, rest of the folks. <laughs> <laughs> we don't get to actually see the drills. That's just left for, well, for you, you guys. Yeah, Mayock and I sit up there for like eight hours on the chair. <laughs> I mean, like right around the hour three, we get up, we stretch. You know, we get we got to yeah. get the blood flowing. You now, know? Here's, a, here's a question. Do you get to stretch? Before or do you have to sit there all day and then run your 40? That's the way, well, I do get a few minutes to stretch. And in the last couple of years, the outstanding training staff at the combine, because the day's over, have been helping me out get stretched. You're but a I go and, trainer stretching. I seriously, yeah, but I'm yeah. there I'm there in a full suit. I know. You know, it. my tie. It's impressive. And and, and I'm, I'm stretched. I have to do that. You have to. Oh, shoot, I'm 45 years old. Now, are you planning to get better with with time and age Straight like Joel? this year are you getting Joel, faster I, first of all i only know one speed i have the heart of a champion what else do you need to know that's what all you need, you need to know fire burns with it big and, and, we're raising winning money, machine. and we're raising money for charity this time around thanks for coming to joel yeah, we'll see you out bet. there in Thank indianapolis that's so joel Klatt appreciate it of uh, fox sports joining us here on the rich eisen show the rich eisen show weekdays at noon eastern on audience